Hi everybody, Big Fat Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays! Planescape Torment Quest about Bormac. When I slipped off, I'm we gone. took advantage of some lectures in the area, and even, uh, that's the one. But now we got a new guy to talk to, named Merriman. <sighs> I'm gonna guess he's not too merry. This man looks like a bitter, cantankerous old codger, call it. His mouth is twisted into a frown that becomes even more severe as he notices you coming his way. Merriman, my name may be, but merry I am not. Off with you, young one. No time for the likes of you. He goes into a fit of coughing from the exa exertion of shooing you away so loudly. Fine, bitch. Alright, now. And now we're going to head to the dormitories. Which... This is a dormitory? Uh... Case must be the wrong one. Yeah, it's mostly someone here I gotta see. Okay, maybe this way? Alright. Oh. I'm gone. Oh, it's an actual fragging door. Oh, look at this, ma'am. Ma'am? Unfulfilled desire. That's a hell of a name. The woman before you is incredibly attractive. There's some intangible aura about her that makes you want to speak to her. As you step up to her, she glances at you coyly and then gives us a knowing smile. Greetings! <laughs> and a sneeze! Sorry, ma'am, I hope you don't mind that. You want something, yes? She hisses the yes, drawing it out slowly, sensually, from between her teeth. I can help you. Name your desire, and I shall provide it. <laughs> More than- I love the festival! <laughs> Morty, my head, how you doing? <laughs> the woman ignores Morty, her eyes locked with yours. She smiles, awaiting your response. I want you. She moistens her lips and smiles. You feel your chest lurch as if someone had plunged their hand into you and was pulling at your insides. A simple request. And I have one for you, Traveler. I ask you tell me, explain to me the way in which you want me. Let me hear you, cra you your craving. Then I shall speak my price. Describe the way you want her. As you speak, her smile fades. She leans forward attentively, her eyes ravaging your features as you speak. Her presence compels you to speak more than you normally would, and after a few moments, her eyes flutter closed as she gives a sharp intake of breath. Suddenly, your craving for her begins to wane. Your desire drains from you completely, leaving only a sense of cold emptiness behind. She frowns. She opens her eyes again, smiling. There's a certain satisfied look about her now. What's wrong, Traveler? Do you no longer want me? No, no, I don't. What have you done? She seems perplexed. Whatever do you mean? Despite her innocent demeanor, you're certain something unnatural has occurred. She has somehow siphoned off your desire for her, stolen it away for some ghastly collection of wants, or perhaps to feed upon, and now it's gone, forever. Come now. It's, is there something else you want, then? Tell me about this. Not ever fit over well. But there's something else she has that might even. I had some. You seem to desire. He seems to collect feet upon desires of us, removing them forever from their minds. She smiles. And says, I had some questions. She frowns, looking away from. Me. I think I may have. Okay, I think I may have botched slightly. Let me see. If, yeah, I have botched. I went into that very horny. I'll admit. I'm gone. Okay. Let's 
see here. Okay, let's I want my memories returned, all of them. Let's see if that works. She smiles. Much may be forgotten in a lifetime, and much more in several lifetimes. I can't help you. She studies your face closely. Explain to me the ways in which you want these memories. Speak to me your craving, and I shall speak to you of the price. Describe in ways. As you speak, your files say, okay. Uh, what have you done? Best not. Okay, yeah, she takes whatever you want. Should have stayed with the other one. Okay. She has a... Okay, so we gotta do that and then talk to the drunken mage again. Let's see. Do I have to do that later? Okay. First fall room clerk. Done. Oh, boy, I'd say that lady. Ooh. I'd be like... See, it wouldn't work for me, because it'd be like, at the end, I'd be like, so you still... I, I would stop talking, it's like, do you still want me? Yeah, can, can I bang you, please? Um. Okay, how do I get... Let me talk to the clerk! All right. Um. <sighs> One second. Yeah, I finally did. It took me a few minutes and I had to finally realize, oh, I have to move Morty out of the way. He's in the way. The attractive young woman smiles pleasantly. Greetings, sir. She closes her eyes, flips through a large laser, stopping at what seemed to be a random page and opening her eyes once more. Ah, here's your room key. Why are people yelling in the background? She hands you a small key. The easternmost chamber has been waiting quite some time for your return. Would you like to rest now? Um... Uh, uh, no, what do you mean by waiting for my return? The clerk gives you a strange look. My ledger indicates that this is your key, sir, and it has been for a good... <sighs> Interruptions. My ledger indicates that this is your key, sir, and has been for a good long time. Is that... If that is not so, then perhaps I am merely mistaken. Would you like to rest now, sir? Uh, yes, that'd be nice. Okay, where's my room? Eastern most... Okay, Eastern most chamber, so this way. Done. Done. Damn. Damn! See a small enclosed patio through these glass doors. Damn. The door is right. locked. Why is this door locked? Okay, let's raid. What have we got? Okay, um, let's see here. We've got... Oh, we've already got... I've already... I've already got that. Well, I can give that to her to use. And I don't got that, so we can fling that to her to use. I don't think I have those. 
Scroll of Shield. Yes. Scroll of Pacify. Yes. Oh wait, I forgot. I could probably give these to him. He could learn them. If his inventory. Oh. This character is too far away. Okay, Done. bye, gather up! Okay, um... <sighs> Dakon, why are you off having a conversation with people? Get your ass over here. Dummy. Okay, I don't think he... Why do I just... Here, 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 Anna wants to give you your, your clothes there, buddy. Think. Oh. So you have this one. Damn. Okay, no, I didn't got those spells. Skull of Friends. Oh. What about Skull of Blindness? Could she... Give me back my damn ring. And here, you take the Skull of Friends... You could probably use it. Yay! You've got more magic! Alright, Morte! You're my, um... Raider of Fine Junk. High quality stiletto, needle thigh, jar of embalming fluid, that's probably useful. Yeah. Definitely. Sure, why not? You know, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what crap we got here. Okay, who is it that had the skulls? Wish, I wish. Okay, you got the skulls. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to organize my inventory really quick. Alright, I'm back. I managed to empty my inventory. Basically, all the key items that I didn't deal were... In, in, you know, that weren't going to be used immediately or in the near future, such as the tomb keys, skulls, bones, whatnot, I promptly threw into the uh, thing here. This uh, thing I'm right gone. here. I mean, this is my room after all, so of course, all these should be fine. So now we're going to take and uh, huh? use her thieving skills. Let's see here. Special ability. And open this here lock. Lock picks is seated. Now if you could just step away. All right. It's my closet. Then Done. what we get? Scroll of fire and ice in! A dodecahedron. First. Yes, of course. And we're going to do... Let's see. War shield. Scripture skill. Okay, yeah, definitely. Hmm. Ooh. We don't have any level four spells. We got level five spells. Yay! And what else have we got here? A dodecahedron. This heavy dodecahedron, about the size of both your fists balled together, seems inexplicably familiar to you. The texture is cold and smooth, but whether it's metal or stone, you cannot tell. A certain, almost intangible tension runs over the object, as if it were ready to spring into the air at any moment. Lovely. Let's, uh, use it. This heavy dodecahedron, about the size of your both fists balled together, seems to be... Assume a tension. Examine no dodecahedron closely. Upon closer examination, you realize that each side of the dodecahedron is a plate that can be twisted clockwise or counterclockwise. It appears to be a puzzle box or combination lock. As each of the pentagonal plates has five possible positions, the dodecahedron has no less than 244,144,625 settings! <laughs> this is why I don't play with Rubik's Cubes that much. It would take every second of the next 77 odd years to hit all the combinations, but then you might just get lucky and stumble on the solution in minutes. Fiddle with it for a bit. 
As you methodically twist the cold gray facets of the dodecahedron, a strange sensation forms at the base of your skull. Your hands seem to move of their own accord, turning the object and spinning its facets with mechanical precision. You've done this before. You knew the combinations once. And you also became aware that there is a certain danger within the object. Whether it's from simple traps or something less mundane, though, you cannot recall. Keep working at it. In moments, you have what might be the first four sides locked into their proper places. As you begin to twist the fifth side of the dodecahedron, you recall a cunning blade trap that would snap out the last of the meddler's hands, slashing their wrists and severing fingers. You avoid the trap with, proper number, with the proper number of rotations, certain that you've made progress in unraveling the object's secret. Keep it. Keep doing it. After avoiding the dodecahedron springing blades, you slowly puzzle out the next series of fast positions. As you start to turn the ninth side of the dodecahedron, you suddenly remember a second trap. Jets of toxic gas that would form a billowing cloud of lethal corrosive vapor around the cu a curious meddler. You circumvent the trap with the correct amount of twists, positive that you nearly unlocked it. Dodecahedron. Keep it. No amp. Five grand. You circumvent the Dodecahedron's poisonous gas trap and begin your work on the final facet positions. Just as you're locking the 12th Pentagon into place, you recollect sorcerous runes hidden within the Dodecahedron through a blast dealing witting holder with bolts of magical lightning. After disarming the trap with the correct number of facet rotations, the Dodecahedron clicks and begins to open in your hands. The Dodecahedron splits once, twice, and eventually unfolds itself impossibly into a perfectly rectangular tablet the size of a large book. Etched onto it, into its surface are a series of bizarre symbols. It looks to be a code or language that you feel should be familiar to you, but it's not. Further examination of the tablet reveals that by twisting the pentagon facets out open on the outside of the tablet, different pages may be displayed across the tablet's surface. You finally realize that the dodecahedron is a tome or journal of some sort. Hmm. Time to read this language. Might as well put it away. Updated my journal. He's got a freaking iPad with a combo lock! He's got a freaking iPad with a combo lock! <sighs> Ain't that a bitch? I can't even afford one. He's got one. He's got one nestled away. I am so angry. But now we're going to leave the fest hall and go talk to the drunken mage right. uh, training. Uh, the drunken mage. And see if we can help him. Alright, we're back and here's the drunken mage. Hey, buddy! The older man is staring into a stein of ale, misery and his features. Bay's pewter mug is an unusual one, lightly engraved with strange runes and a beard and bearded faces, and covered with a coat of thin frost. Is that your question? Greetings, sir! I had some questions. I think I've talked to this guy before. Yeah, I did talk to this guy before. Ah. Yeah, I did talk. Yeah, I did talk to. His. There's someone you should speak to. Unfulfilled desire. You can find her in the Civic Festival. Talk to her of your love for a drink. You soon find you won't want it any longer. Updated my journal. His eyes bright. Truly? I shall go. Speak to her now. Then. I thank you, sir. He pauses, looking down at his empty mug. Here. I would have you take this. I need it no longer. He hands you the room covered ale stein. Thank you. Knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. And you level up. And we shall. And you're now at 60. My man, how you doing? And we now have. This large pewter ale stein is of usual manufacture. Service etched with strange ruins. It keeps its context icy cold, whatever the surrounding temperature. See if I can't make some room here. Make some room here. Here, you will have my. You will hold that for me, please. Thank you, sir. Now, I need to talk to someone by the name of Innes. Innes the advocate. Advocate, I'm right here. Oh, 
I almost ran into this place. Wait. Maybe? Okay. Yeah, maybe it's him. This man is dressed in soft blue robes, covered in intricate designs. Despite their outfits, however, the robes look wrinkled and worn. You place the man's age somewhere between middle age and early 60s. The, world, the worry lines make an exact determination difficult. As you enter, the man turns slowly towards you. As he does, you are suddenly struck with the terrible sense that you know this man. Or did at one time. Greetings! The man squints as if trying to place you. Uh, yes? Is this something I can help you with? Um, who are you? Updated my journal. I am Yanis, said as you in France. Oh, are you looking for me? I don't know. What is this place? I am an advocate. These are my offices. Yanis' voice takes on an irritated edge. Do you seek counsel? If not, perhaps you'd best test your curiosity elsewhere. Updated I forget my what it's journal. Now. Morty breaks in with a whisper. He's saying he's a lawyer. A counselor. One of those burks who rattle their bone boxes at the courts. Yes, the frown deepens. An advocate provides counsel. Helps others navigate the labyrinths of Sigil's legal system. Arranges, uh, arranges legacies for citizens to ensure that their property is divided as they choose upon death. Defend those in Sigil's courts who have been wrongly accused. He pauses. Did you need help in any of these areas? Oh, legacies? There are contracts that are deliverable at the death of the client. They provide specifics on how a person's possessions are to be divided upon the event of their demise. I've also heard of them called wills. Um, there's any, any, uh, I see. Perhaps there's something else. Okay. Anything like dustman contracts? Oh my, no! The dustman contracts, while they are deliverable at the time of the client's death, bequeath the client's body to the dustman. Not a pleasant business at all. But some who are poor of means find the dustman contract to be a means of support. Um, how would one go about invalidating a dustman Updated contract? My journal. He frowns slightly. One is already one is already signed. Little or nothing can be done on signatures in place. The dustman contract is really quite specific on the destination of the corpse after death. Without the de destruction of the contract, there's really nothing that could be done. Let's see, perhaps there's something you should have with. Hey, well, what is it? Excuse me, but are you alright? You must excuse me. As of late, I've been beset by troubles. I'm afraid it's been a rather trying time these past few years. Uh, anything I can help with? No, no, there's very little that can be done. He nods to you. Nevertheless, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Perhaps talk about your troubles will ease your mind. Yes, yeah, less. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, on sides. Last. <laughs> I do not wish to burden you. I lost my daughter l long ago. It was also a fire, but there's another matter. Tell about your daughter. Instantly, Yana seems to collapse himself. <laughs> yes. His business-like facade drains from his face to replace with cold despair. My daughter, Dianera, passed away some time ago. Um... Um, uh, tell me about her. What was she like? Dinera? She was young. She had recently joined the Society of Sensation, the Sensates. Not an unpleasant faction, but she had also met someone there. She followed him on a journey, and there she died. Her body... He looks pained. I was not even able to recover her body. You know anything about the man she Updated journeyed with? My journal. Little. I barely even knew of his existence, so she had departed. By then, it was too late to have known him. Um, how did she die? I do not know. Her body was never recovered. Yeah, his face turns blood red as, as his hands clench in a fist. And that's perhaps the most maddening part of this misery. I will never know what possessed her to run off like that and what happened to her. Know where her body lies now. Do you know where the DNA and this man went on their journey? She never said, and I'm not certain she was capable of saying where they had gone. It must have been a terrible place. I see. Tell me about this fire. There is nothing much to say about the matter. It was a strange localized fire. I can't imagine it would have been... been I can't imagine it would have been precious in the documents that were burned, but someone must have wanted them destroyed. 
any luck in locating the person responsible? Ne no. Neither Harmonium nor the Mercy Killers have had any fortune in locating this person responsible. Can you tell me what was burned? A number of old legacies were burned. And some mementos and other keepsakes of value only to be... To talk about your daughter. Let me see here. Let's okay. Let's see. Let's click for more. Let's see. Let's see what happens. With number four. I saw a woman by that name and turned the mortuary memorial hall. She had become a ghost and claimed she knew me. What? Yeah, that's explicit. What did you just say? Her spirit now resides in the memorial hall. I spoke with her for a time. She seems to be in distress. You spoke to her? And that seems to be more, conf more confused by the moment. What distresses her? Now, let's see. Do I... <laughs> this is a big in right here. I'm going to fire off to me, apparently. She said that she loved me and that she, I had loved her and that I had forsaken her. I see, perhaps... He asked Francis to study you. His face becomes like stone. Are you the one she left single with? The one who led her on the journey that killed her? I'm not certain. I think I may be that man, but I have forgotten much. You? Yes, yeah, looks you up and down. Did you are the one? And you say you have forgotten? Yes, yeah, draws himself up. He looks like he is squaring himself for a battle. You have forgotten? But the answer was not so long ago. How can this be? a strange condition. I lose myself for a time. Anything you tell me about myself or your daughter would be invaluable. Countless liars have I known in my tenure of this city and it studies you intently. You do not strike me as one of them, at least on this matter, he sighs. If you truly do not remember, then whatever befell you and my daughter on your journey must have been must have the deep scars. I'm inclined to agree. Then ask your word on this. If your memory returns and you discover what has happened to my daughter, Return to me so that I may mind my last, my, so my mind may at last be at rest of this matter. I will do that. I will vow to do that, because damn it, I'm a good guy. Very well then, now leave. I wish to be alone with my thoughts. Very well then. <sighs> so now we've met. Daenerys' father, which didn't end horribly badly, could have ended worse, but it didn't. Uh, one second. I love it when people interrupt me, especially in my in my outro here. So, will we find out what killed Daenerys and me, and who else do I have to talk to here at Sigil? Give you a hint everyone else. Find out next time on the Big Fat Please! Planescape Torment requested by Bormac. Till then, it's Big Fat Plus, Sayonara, and... I think I should start keeping a journal or a diary or something. So that way, should I ever lose my memories, I, you know, for some whatever reason, because cliche and amnesia, I can go back and read, okay, so yes, I was a fat, deadbeat, no good, nerd loser when I was full of memories. Wait a minute, that's not a good idea at all. <laughs>